That's Kirihito for you. Always has a plan. Here it is. The Shibakiyama Stable. Home of top-ranked pros and renowned for its intense practices. My first stop in conquering the pro sumo world. Ready or not, here I come! All right, keep things moving along! They're so intense. What are you waiting for? Push! And Master Shibakiyama is as sharp eyed and intimidating as ever, even after retirement. What lovely form, but remember to keep your chin a little bit lower next time, okay? I didn't expect that. I appreciate you coming all this way to watch our training, Saki. My pleasure. It's an honor to spend the next two days at your stable. It's weird seeing the Master acting so upbeat. Must be because we've got company today. <laughs> That's for sure, but I guess you didn't hear there's another student stopping by to have a trial with us. And apparently he's some kind of high school hotshot. You think we should be worried? Mm -hmm. He should have arrived by now! I can personally vouch for his skill and guarantee you one day he'll be the top-ranked sumo wrestler. A Sekitori in the making! I want him for my stable! Master, he's coming this way! Oh, it's about time! I'm so sorry about being late. I got turned around on my way here. Oh, and thanks again for letting me train with you today. I get it. You're like his assistant, right? So is Ushio waiting for you to announce him? Huh? No, I'm Hinomaru Ushio from the Odachi High Sumo Club. Do I know him? No, there must be some mistake. No. But, I mean, just how tall are you, son? Oh, 152 centimeters, sir. You can barely even reach the light switch! Calm down. The master spirit took a total nosedive. Can't blame him. Look, the kid's already here. Let's humor him. Besides, it's just for one day. <sighs> hey, your footwork's not bad. Ushio, was it? You can call me Terahara. I was a high school sumo up until recently. As your predecessor, I'll be your sparring partner. Don't hold back, all right? Yes, sir. I stretched, but I'm still feeling kind of stiff. Is it my nerves? The atmosphere's definitely mellowed out since Hinomaru showed up. Everyone's way more relaxed. <sighs> Jeez, I know we're just sparring, but these guys could at least set an example for the kid. They're trying to put on a show for him. He's a fan of sumo, after all. Might as well let him have some fun until he leaves. If you feel warmed up enough, then let's step inside the ring. Yes, sir. Actually, before you start, you want to try your luck at a little competition we're throwing? Mm -hmm. Every kid who shows up to one of our practices gets a shot. We call it the Shibakiyama Knock Em Out Challenge. You push one of us out of the ring, guess what you could take home with you? That's right, official stable merchandise! Oh. You want to show the kid what you've got, Terahara? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Talk about a size difference. Uh, just do the best you can, Ushio. Don't worry, kid. You won't go home empty-handed. I'll step out of the ring after you've struggled a bit. Hmm. Tara. I recommend you take this seriously. <clears throat> right. Sir. Here I come. <laughs> He's only a kid! Even though I'll never turn down Shibakiyama stable merch, my sumo team needs me to bring home more than just souvenirs from this trip. The thing I really want is a full-blown Shibakiyama session. Hinomaru should be training with top-notch sumo wrestlers right about now. Hard to believe. At the Shibakiyama stable, that right? Yeah. And speaking of which, why'd you choose that one, coach? Even among the pros, they're renowned for their training. Before he retired, the stable master was famous for his tough practice sessions. The man wasn't exactly blessed with a godlike physique. What he had were fearsome attacks, which earned him the nickname Firecracker. In his prime, he even gave Yamatokuni a run for his money. Despite his small stature, he fought head on. Additionally, throughout his career, the man never altered his charge. Remind you of anyone we know? Yeah? 
I want to hear what the Master thinks after watching Hinomaru fight. And there's also another sumo wrestler there I'm hoping he'll get the chance to meet. This stable has a reputation for its intense training, especially when I was at the top of my game. Even so, many complained about the regimen and left. Here I was thinking you were like those other boys, head full of dreams and a heart with zero ambition. I admit I misjudged you. Accept my apologies, Hinomaru Ushio. The Pro League won't permit someone of your height. Yet you're besting Sandar made division wrestlers. He's too much for you to handle? Then stand back! Sometimes when you grab a Mawashi belt, your technique shows cracks. A move, maybe? No, I have a more important Let's question. Go one more time! What is that gleam you have in your eyes? Yeah! Bring it! His enthusiasm is infectious. It's completely shifted the mood. Impressive someone so young is able to do that. who our guest is? Uh, that's Hinamaru Ushio. He's visiting for a one-day trial. I remember hearing he was coming. He's not half bad. Hey, Nori! Quit crouching there like a creeper! Get your ass in here! <clears throat> Forgive me. It sounded like you were having such a productive session, I didn't want to interrupt and break the momentum. Actually, to tell you the truth, I couldn't tear my eyes away. <laughs> The ninth-ranked Magashira, Sainoyama! Good morning, Sekitori! So far, Ushio's been fighting trainees from the Makushida division and below. I, I mean, not to say they're pushovers, but they're second- and third-rate pros at best. There are 700 elite sumo wrestlers, but only 70 in the Jurio division and above are Sekitori's and can tie their hair in an Oicho topknot. Plus, only they're allowed to wear a white mawashi belt during practice. If you wanted to meet one of the best Ushio, here he is. The boy created a mood similar to a practice session for a Sekitori. I wonder... Now that an actual Sekitori is here, will things get even more tense? <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for your assistance earlier. No, thank you for letting me attend! Good morning to you, Master. Hmm. Sekitori! It'd be an honor to have a bout with you! Hmm. Slow down! He only just arrived at practice, Ushio! You read my mind. I'd also like to duel. Huh? Sekitori? It's uncommon. But you've piqued my interest. <sighs> Is this the opportunity you were hoping I'd get, Kirihito? Even the weaker fighters gave me a workout, but let's be honest. Kusanagi was on a completely different level. Ordinary opponents won't do. I need to fight wrestlers who will challenge me. Like Sanoyama. I'll admit we underestimated you when you first walked in. However... Now, Spirit! He's not moving. You made the same mistake, boy. I found it! Nice! Can we go another round? This is what I came for! I'm not making any headway! His legs are so flexible, my attacks have no effect on him! Then in a flash, he turns his body into a boulder! The might of a pro. You should be like water. My master taught me that. Your form must be as agile as fluid and strike with torrential force. Be like water, huh? Whereas your sumo is like fire, continuously raging. You could say it's heroic, but you might also call it sloppy. Thank you very much. I understand the range of your abilities. Sekitori, please wait! Any further bouts would be a waste of both our time. I have one duty, and that's achieve the rank of Yokozuna, a glory my master was unable to reach during his career. But I'm only here today! Please, just one more bout! Haven't you had enough? I'm at a loss as to what spurs you on. Even if you can't best me, you shouldn't feel ashamed. I don't know a single person here who dare call you weak. I fear you'll be moderately successful in high school, Sumo. 
Being moderately successful isn't good enough for me. I intend to become a Yokozuna, same as you. That's my reason for not giving up. Like me. Your dream is born of childish idealism. Meanwhile, I speak knowing full well how long and arduous the road actually is. And you think we're the same? You requested one more bout. Very well. Maybe you think you'll have a growth spurt or your luck will suddenly change. But I'm warning you now. Your words were an insult to sumo wrestlers. And I'll make you pay dearly for it. <laughs> That expression, he means business. Don't back down. This is exactly why I'm here. It's my last chance of finding a way to evolve. I need to do something different with my charge. Gotta be realistic. I don't have the skill yet to overpower a Sekitori, but I'm out of options. I'll go low and fast as possible. He's in a spider stance. Keep experimenting till you find what works. Now, spirit! Oh, man! Side slaps are banned in amateur competitions. Interesting. They used his knees as a cushion to absorb the impact. After all my previous bouts, I don't have much strength left. I've got to be like water. Fluidity varies your rhythm and dictates the tempo in a bout. But you forgot. Fire doesn't just rage. It flickers and burns. This is it. This is what you came to my stable to find. Kirihito went through the trouble of finding me a damn good sparring partner. I can't waste this opportunity. If I'm reaching the top, it means devouring you! Some incredible force is erupting from within him. Tori pushed Ushio to the ground first. But look at his knee! He still went down! My body was moving on its own. It wasn't the same as what Kirihito did, but it felt so natural. It must have been some kind of new technique. I almost had it. I was nearly there! Damn! Damn! As we agreed upon, that's our final bout. Thank you for sparring with me. I expect to see you here again tomorrow. Uh, Your sumo intrigues me, and I'd like to see a bit more of what you can do. I may not look it, but I'm a real curious guy. I'll be here. Count on it. So, did you have fun at your remedial class? Uh, some punk called Gengaro from Ishigami stopped by. Gengaro? Hmm? Hello? Uh-huh. Wait, you're staying? Sinoyama's already agreed to spar with me more tomorrow. So the master said it made sense if I stayed overnight. Think you'll learn it? Your new move? I'll let you know when I see you. Later. Was that Hinamaru? It was. He's spending the night at the stable. Seems he's training tomorrow as well. Guess he made a good first impression. We have to work hard too. Gotta help him carry the weight. Good, cause that's my specialty. If you want to help, don't fail any more tests. I'm a C-plus student now. They may think you're cheating. <laughs> Authentic sumo stable Junko Nubby Stew. Kid, you did good out there today. Thanks a lot, sir. Grab a seat and pour a bowl. The Sekitori's still eating, though. Today's an exception, so chow down. Yes, sir. <laughs> the apprentices usually eat last, so you shouldn't feel bad. I know, but... <laughs> It's still kind of awkward. I understand you're a national treasure, Onimaru Kunitsuna. Are you serious? It's not that big of a deal. Why are you being so modest? I heard you held your own against Kusanagi. Wait a minute, who told you? Please, I'm a high school sumo club manager, which means gossip inevitably finds its way to me. By Kusanagi, you're referring to... Sosuke Kuze, a national treasure, yeah. The son of Yamato Kuni, the former Yokozuna. A legend? There's no way. He's a popular topic of discussion these days. They say he's gonna shoot through the ranks if he turns pro. So you are in the same generation as he is, are you? Tough break, kiddo. Who is stronger, me or Junior? Uh, well, 
all I know is I did a lot better fighting against him than against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. right. <laughs> hey, I don't see your chopsticks moving. Stew's a three bowl minimum. Uh, yes, and sir. And after you've eaten your fill, we snooze. <laughs> We're off to buy groceries for dinner. When you're an apprentice, yes, there's no shortage of chores to do. The thing is, it's a lot of fun. I know it's not all about cutting loose. You're living to compete after all. I bet each wrestler has their own private doubts and anxieties. In fact, I'm sure of it. For the longest time, I wanted to be a part of this. A member of the pro sumo world. I'm not here to goof off. Not when I haven't accomplished anything yet. But still, if only for a short while, let me soak up this feeling until I have to leave. I didn't mean to wake you up. Sorry about that. I couldn't sleep and decided to run drills. I wanted to revisit everything I felt today. If that makes sense. You're too excited to rest, I get it. I want to be a pro, and spending the day here only reinvigorated that desire. On my days off, I've been arranging to stay at various sumo stables. My brother wants to turn pro the same as you. While he's busy practicing, I've been scoping them out for him. Yeah? So, tell me the truth. Who was stronger? Sinoyama or Kuze? Well, obviously, the Sekitori has more power and better technique. And even though I appreciate him agreeing to spar with me, truthfully, if they were to fight each other at this moment, I couldn't say who would win. Maybe Kuze is looming in my mind after our bout. I knew I wanted to fight someone who'd be similar in height and technique. If I can't take on a full-strength Sekitori, then I can never. Now I understand. Uh it seems this friend of yours chose Sainoyama as a stand-in for training against Sosuke Kuze. Master, you're up! After fighting with the Sekitori yesterday, I imagine there's plenty you want to work on. So, we better start sparring right away. Huh? When everyone said I was past my prime, I defeated the higher-ranked Yamato Kuni. I promise there's still one or two lessons I could teach you. What's the matter with you, son? I don't take my shirt off for just anybody, you know. I guess I'm confused why you're invested in my future. I'd understand if I was a sumo wrestler destined to turn pro, but I'm a... well... Chalk it up to another habit of growing old. But when I look at you, I see myself. In my youth, I was called small, helpless, but I still fought with passion to become a Yokozuna. I only made it as high as Sekiwake, and though I was praised for my accomplishment, I never achieved my actual dream. I passed my ambition on to Sinoyama, thinking height was what held me back. But after watching you, I have one more dream left. To see someone our size become a Yokozuna. Realize that dream for me. That was a bit long-winded, I admit, but I'm saying I believe in you. When you're ready to turn pro, find me. I'll be waiting for you, kid. Sir! What's Hinomaru doing up? Ah, the Master's awake too! And practicing with him? Looks like everybody's too excited to sleep. Ah, screw it! Let's start practice now! Yeah! The high school student getting the pro stoked. Hinomaru Ushio, huh? Thank you for everything! Man, that was so much fun! And having someone around to talk to who was my own age made things easier. Thanks for coming. It was good to meet a fellow sumo enthusiast. If both our schools win enough bouts, we'll see each other at nationals. Well, I can guarantee I'll be there since I'm going to become a high school Yokozuna. I certainly hope you do. But since my brother's also competing, you may have to hold off on your dream until the next year. Wait, you told me you were a sumo manager, but never what high school you go to. Totori Hakuro. Totori Hakuro? You mean... I'm Saki Tenoji. Anyway, it was good to meet you. <laughs> the sister of Shido Tenoji, the national champion! I thought Ishigami was sure to be the winning team from Chiba, but I learned something new. All right, Onimaru Kunitsuna from Odachi High. 
guess I'll see you at the top. I'll be waiting. Tenoji, Kuze, and Sada from Ishigami. Before I meet them in the ring, I need to perfect my new technique so I can beat them all!